What's up guys, Matty S here, back with another video. Today, we are doing something kind of different. We are working on my rug, finishing it up. But before we do that, we gotta just check up on the birds, man. Gotta make sure they got water, gotta make sure they got food. Gotta check if my babies are doing all right before we could go do some fun stuff. All right, I'm only checking up on a few. Kikariki, OEGB, a mix. Seven of eight eggs were fertile, six hat, and then two passed away, and now I only have four. But those are my, the Kikariki hen, and the, it's OEGB bit. White hen still sitting on the egg. She's almost due, I can't wait. And that's pretty much it. I'm about to water everybody, make sure they all got fresh water. That white hand, this is her baby right here. They're still doing okay. They're about four months old, five months old now. All right, before we go into the garage and get started on that rug, and well, not started, like get finished with that rug, because really I just got to hand sew like the edging of it. But yeah, this is how you guys could tell if the egg is a bad or not. If the egg is floating, that is a bad egg. You do not want to crack that bitch open. You don't want to eat that. It's a good egg. It should sink to the ground. There you go. Yeah, this egg right here, uh, literally warm as fuck. Um, I literally just grabbed it from a hen. But yeah, these ones I'm just about to throw away. Yeah, but what I'm doing right now is actually getting some eggs, um, to, like, boil and, um, to mash up and feed to the baby chicks. And also, because I got my new little four baby chicks, I'm just giving them some protein and stuff like that, you know what I mean? Yeah, right now I'm just walking around, checking if there's any eggs available for grabbing. Like, hens that are by themselves, hens that, like, you know, have no baby daddy. I just grabbed the egg, because it's not fertile. It doesn't have a baby inside of it. It's just the egg to eat. That you get from the store. Got Billy the goat right there. Chilling with the birds and the chicks. You can kind of see my dad's chicks. Billy the goat. And you see like how this egg is just sitting by itself. This is nobody's egg. This is egg uh, for eating. Baby chicks. Yeah. If these guys got beards. We call them muff or bearded. Yeah. I don't know. There's other names for it for sure. That's just what I know. Dang, my dad's hand right here. She has chicks or what? I didn't know that he brought this shit down. I don't want to bother her. I just want to see. Oh, saw some little feet. It's pretty. It's my dad's bird. I don't know exactly what bloodline it is, but she does have some chicks under her. I don't want to bother her because I do not, do not want to get rinsed by her. Like, I do not want to get kicked by her because she's protecting her babies, but I definitely some, see some chicks under her. Nice. I really like this like color. It's like a Millie Fleur uh, equivalent to OEGB or a Pintu or a yeah, Spangle. And what do you know? There's wind that blew this egg carton over here. This is meant to be. It was meant to be. I was looking at it earlier on the floor, but I was lazy to pick it up and now i gotta pick up some eggs and look at that full circle shit all right let's see gotta get this guy egg over here i ain't gonna hurt your honey what's going on she got hella eggs don't want to bother them you don't want to scare them but they're doing their job i don't know if this is cracked or what seems light as shit it seems like it's gonna be a bad egg all right the moment we've been waiting for damn that is not a good egg see that shit hell no i want to see what it looks like inside it's gonna stink, though. Ooh, it just popped open. Ew, it stinks. I don't even want to see it. It didn't even like crack, bro. Look at that shit. There you go, only three eggs. Yeah, we definitely got a, more, a little more eggs. I, I brought like three earlier to dad. These are just what was like laying around the yard that we haven't picked up yet to eat. Oh shit. But yeah, we're about to boil these, mash them up, and give it to the babies. Let's do it. I was gonna throw away this egg um, that came from like this hat, but my brother decided to keep the egg inside to throw it in the incubator. So we do it in the incubator and we have a storm. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just like cleaning this out so I could uh, throw them in here and they could have like a new place to, to be together. in the new spot but just like anything guys like the more time and love you give uh, to something the more it's gonna be happier the more it's gonna do good me personally i like to raise the little birds uh, the show birds everything that i'm trying to do just trying to spread love kindness positivity and just emotional awareness especially with after losing my brother i'm just tired of losing i'm ready to win you know what i mean all right so my hand is a bit messy I've been mashing up these eggs i'm about to fit it if you get it to my chicks it's okay if you give them the eggshells um i try to do take out as much as i can but kind of just mash it all in there because the eggshells are actually good for them it provides calcium. You can't be scared to fucking get your hands dirty, guys. Whatever you do. But yeah, sometimes people put oyster shells inside their mix of food um, to catch off for calcium like if they need it. Like if the birds just need calcium, which is good for them. Just like we need calcium, the birds need calcium. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I'm just giving it to the chicks just because it's good for them. It's like protein and shit. You do a little extra love to your birds, though. You know when it pay off. Look, look, she's happy. She's lit. She's like, yo, look at that shit, yo. <laughs> That's the eggs. Like, these guys are the smart ones. Should I put them on the tray? 
<laughs> but alright guys, since we are going to be working on that rug, and I got a little a little assistant. Someone to keep me company. It kind of works as like my little alarm clock. Usually throw and like every like so often that remind me that hey, work man, work. But yeah guys, here's my little assistant. I got him some shade. So again, my room is like right there and what I do is I usually open up my window um, while I'm working on like editing or anything like that in the day. Um, and I bring a rooster out here to just like, you know, remind me that I'm not alone. And it just kind of helps me stay focused. It's just kind of like a little reminder that I do for myself to help me like stay working and consistent because you guys know battling depression and you know just being human um it's just it's hard sometimes that's just some stuff that i do to help me kind of like stay in the zone i've been procrastinating been bullshitting i've been taking a break i just spent longer i spent more time than i wanted to today with the birds i've just uh i found like fucking five eggs that were cracked while my hands weren't sitting on their eggs but i took those cracked eggs out and as soon as i did that they started sitting on the eggs and started rotating them i'm with you so it's been a big dark day it only rains when I don't want it to So I've been struggling and feeling like a mess This whole year's been a motherfucking test And I know that you love me but I hear it less Oh baby, I don't want all the stress I don't want all the stress Cause baby, this a free fall, a free fall And I'm only a free call, away all the time Free fall, a free fall So I just got done finishing that rug on a phone call with one of my homies. Don't, don't mind my fucking garage, it's a fucking mess. But um, just finish this rug. Jeez! Damn, if I was a girl, I'd fuck myself. Look at that shit, look at that. Look at that shit, man. Look at that, I still gotta clean it up, don't mind that. But, you know what I mean? It looks good so far. Uh, tomorrow I'm just gonna do a little more fine tuning details, but yeah, that's pretty much it for the rug. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, follow my social media down below. And I'll see you guys in the next one, peace. Videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Sunday.